We're going to do two things today that have to do with safety when cutting rock. The first is we're going to identify another poison. The other thing we are going to do is we are going to address silicosis because silicosis is one of the biggest health issues associated with the lapidary or mining. Okay, so before we get to the silicosis experiment, let's take a look at Rialgar, which is the arsenide poisonous material. This I photographed for the first book. It is the very last photograph in the thing, and it is incredible looking. Look at the crystal shape. It looks like something out of a Godzilla movie. And this, these beautiful red crystals that you see are an arsenic containing substance or crystal. And once again, there is nature indicating danger through color. So here's another type of red. Also Proustite, the very first video I ever put on YouTube is poisonous arsenide. We're going to get to that. And I'm gonna take a, a look at that in particular since all I did was kind of a music video, but it's in the same chemical family as this. So now here's the magic trick to this. Rialgar crystals, good, beautiful red ones, deep red ones like this, have to be kept out of the light because what they will naturally do is start to yellow. First, they'll orange out a little bit. And then they will begin to yellow. That is Rialgar. What in heck? Take your time. One last look at the Rialgar in its red form. And here's what begins to happen when it is exposed to light. It starts to become orange. And then it goes yellow. And that yellow is called orpiment. Both are poisonous. And right here, isn't this interesting? Right here, oh gosh. we have a, a little point of what looks like pure sulfur crystal, almost pure. That's fascinating. And the base is interesting because the gray part looks something similar to this space stuff, this interplanetary looking thing. Otherwise, it's almost a little, I can't feel this, maybe calcite, kind of a host rock that we find this one in that is in mid transition between Rialgar and Orpiment. Finally, when the transition is completely made, then this is what you get. Now we have Orpiment. It's almost completely yellow, but you can see traces of where it was once red. So I can't imagine this rock completely covered in red Rialgar crystals, sort of pseudomorphed into the orpiment. The yellow part of bumblebee jasper or bumblebee agate, which is sold as a rough for gemstones. So definitely use precautions, breathing precautions and tactile as well, I think. And then of course, seal your work up when you are done. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to patchwork all of this footage together so that we have a cohesive thing going on. And we're going to look at the silicosis experiment that we did as unscientific as it is. Okay, everybody. What I'm going to do right now is, as you can see, there's a great buildup of gem dust on the bottom of my grinder here. So I'm going to just take a sample of that and maybe just kind of core down into it a little bit. Wow, it's really thick. So for our silica test, we've taken a little sample. I've got a dark picture on newsprint down here. And we're gonna see if anything goes through this filter. Can you see that? Very fine dust makes its way right through that coffee filter. All right, I'm gonna try to take a macro picture of that just to see what it looks like. One thing for sure, you do not want this stuff in your lungs. I want to thank our veterans for their service and their support of our lives. Really appreciate it.